All right, so here we are at the Royal Cup. Um, the name of the work is the Royal Cup. Where is it? It's in London, England. Um, the specific location of where it was made was in France. Um, the artist is unknown, but it was made, it was commissioned for uh, Jean Duc de Berry. Um, the nationality of the artist is unknown. The medium of work is a chalice. Um, the period it was made is Byzantine slash Middle Ages. Historical relevance, it was made for the French royal family. Um, how long did it take? It took 10 years. Um, it either took 10 years to make or that's when they think it was made between a 10 year span. That information is kind of spotty. Um, why is it important? It shows cycles and scenes from uh, St. Agnes, and it has four scenes on each side. Well, not, it has four different scenes all over it. Um, Are you scared of me? Uh, defining characteristics gold covered cup and enamel and pearls um, historical contribution Charles V was born in St. Agnes feast day and so that's why it's still stuck around because he really liked St. Agnes personal observation um, it's gold the shape of the cup is pretty cool but they love to drink and out of it. Um, <clears throat> it's got uh, like the red and the blue on the cup are really pop out and the pictures on it are very like vivid. I don't know if you can see the, the images. It's super cool. Why did I choose it? Because it's the first thing you see when you walk in the room and it really catches your eye. They have lights right on it. Um, how does it compare to other work? It has St. Agnes in it and other religious figures um, around that time period were depicted in Byzantine art. Um, fun fact, it has been in the British Museum since 1892. There you go.